welcome to the kitchen. Now I love Mexican food and today I'm going to show you how to make two amazing Mexican side dishes. I've got some amazing, I've said amazing three times, what's wrong with me? We're going to make some guacamole and some crunchy corn salsa. So I'm first of all going to start off with the guacamole. I'm really lazy so I do use a food processor but you don't have to, you can chop the veg up. But I, I just cheat because so I'm just trying to rush to get all the food in. So I'm going to use some red chilli. I like a red onion in my guacamole. Some really ripe tomatoes. If I can get them out of my jar. And of course the avocado. Not forgetting coriander. I think it's the star of the show. So what we're going to do is just roughly chop the tomato. And pop it in there. I'm going to chop my chilli up. I'm not fussy about de-seeding it. I'm just going to kind of pop that in. And then half a red onion. If I'm doing three avocados, I'd do like one or two tomatoes and half an onion. There we go. And I'm also going to put my herbs in at this point because I can be quite aggressive with my mixer. So I'm just going to whiz these up. There we go. Could have done that by hand, but... I'm just, I'm just, just lazy. Okay, so that's all ready. I'm gonna grab my bowl, which I thought I had got out earlier, into the bowl. And now I'm gonna add the juice of a lime. So I'm just gonna roll it on the surface. I'm putting the lime in now because when I add the avocado, I don't want it to go too brown. So the lime's gonna protect, not protect, prevent. It's not, it's not protecting the avocado. <laughs> like the super lime it's just going to prevent it from browning so half a lime to start with i might add more i'm going to taste that at the end so now i'm just going to add my avocados so i just kind of go all the way around be really careful apparently this is one of the biggest injuries that people sustain in the kitchen of cutting avocados give it a twist and that's a really nice avocado and then get the stone out just by kind of tapping the knife in giving it a twist and there you go now if you're going to make your um guacamole in advance if you leave the stones in the guacamole, it also prevents it from browning. So I'm going to keep the stone there, biff the stone out. Obviously, don't try and take the stone off because I've seen my children do that. It's really worrying. And I'm just going to kind of roughly go through there like that just to make some chunks and then spoon out the flesh, making sure you get all the nice, really ripe green bit on the edge. Oh, doesn't that sound delicious? avocados in the bowl now obviously with clean hands I'm just gonna squash it what I want to do is make it nice and creamy <laughs> but also leaving some chunkiness some texture because I like a bit of a lumpy guacamole it's just like Nigella look <laughs> I'm gonna taste it now because I want it to be a little bit limey but not too much so I think it gua um, guacamole is really very <laughs> I mean, avocados really vary. But these are really ripe ones, so. Hmm. I'm going to add a tiny bit more lime juice, though. I'm not going to use the same spoon that I just tasted with. Well, not on YouTube, anyway. <laughs> That's all ready. What I'm going to do is pop my stones in there. So if you're making this in advance, especially if you've got a party, it's good to kind of, like, do it a bit early. Bit of lime. Then add some cling film and push it against the guacamole so there's no way that there's any air in there and that will prevent it from browning. So that's all ready. Now we're going to put together our chunky corn salsa. So I'm going to take a bowl. This is really easy. It's just a case of combining some delicious ingredients. So I've got a green chilli, lime, small can of sweet corn, green Tabasco which has got a really nice fresh zesty taste. So I pop my corn in the bowl. Oh, and not forgetting the coriander again. Big fan of coriander. I'm just going to roughly chop some coriander up here. And this is so good, it goes really well with any Mexican dish. So in that goes. Okay, so I'm going to take the seeds out of the chilli for this one. And just chop them up. Yum! Pop those in the bowl. And then just my lime, I'm going to have the zest of one lime. And the juice, so giving it a bit of a roll on the surface does help to make it more juicy. Give that a squeeze. And then just lastly, a nice dash of the Tabasco. 
So I'm just going to combine that now. Let's get all the flavours through there. Look at that. And that's so delicious to go with any Mexican dish. So there we have it. We've got two side dishes. Oh, beef them in a taco, pop them in a fajita. Do whatever you like with them. They are all ready to go. And everything you need to make these is just down there. These actually go really well with the cauliflower tacos we've made. So check out that video. So they are ready. I'm off to taco party now. I'm going to get the tequila. Bye.